Hey guys, I'm here with Pete Kostelnik. Pete just 45 minutes ago completed a cross country run from San Francisco to New York City in 42 days, 6 hours, and 30 minutes. That's an average of over 72 miles a day. He beat Frank Giannino's record by three days, over three days. Now, Pete's an amazing person. I only have one question for him. There's a lot of people in incredible shape. But when you're running 72 miles a day, Pete, yeah. there's no time for recovery. There's no way your body's recovering. What did you think about? How did you handle the pain that you were dealing with? And the crazy thoughts going through your head? I mean, yeah, it was it was all, I think, more mentally and emotionally draining than physical. Um, I think getting through the men, I think a lot of ultra running is mental. I mean, the majority of it is. So I think if you can get past the mental uh, part of it and really train your body to, you know, I, I think training for this, almost just mentally training for it was as important, uh, putting in the miles as just training my body for the, the miles. Any particular thoughts that went through your head on a regular basis on the uh, worst hours of pain oh yeah um, you know especially in Nevada it was just you know let's make it to the next next day and or let's make it to the next state and let's not even think about the rest of the run uh, so when I was in Nevada it was just let's just see if I can make it to Utah and that was literally all I cared about was making it to Utah getting out of Nevada and you know from there uh, getting a daily routine down, um, breaking up the miles between 20 in the dark before the sun comes up, 20 more before lunch to get to 40. And then I run as many, much of the first 20 after lunch, and then uh, I call the last 10 to 12 miles me miles because I can choose to walk them if I really have to or, um, you know, don't I don't have to pressure myself to, to run. <laughs> I got, I got to say one more thing and then I'll let you go. Yeah. Pete's got to go celebrate with his family and everybody who's okay. up here. But in 1954, Roger Bannister broke the four-minute mile. Nobody thought it would be done. Since then, there's been hundreds of people break four-minute mile. I don't think anybody's going to break your record, Pete. Congratulations. Oh, thank You're you. an inspiration to all of us. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, Brendan. Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs>